What will happen today? Away message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me. You mess with all of us. Is going to see the black tones tonight, next week. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, 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 work. Till I die, 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 die. Hello, May. Pickaxe at it. Me. You know the drill. Yeesh. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Hey, bird. Things are, like, really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Still don't like the moving noises. Good morning. There's my little sunshine, Daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby, and I'm making you an appointment. May, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about money problems in the house, and I'm just so sorry you, we, wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. <laughs> oh, sweet. It's adorable. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you, too. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on the nightstand. I can, like, give you half one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, short. Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be any help. Thanks, Mom. This is adorable. Oh. Hello. Oh, God. What do you want? Hello to you, too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely! Arm belonged to a middle-aged man and medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means it doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Hmm. A little bit of a continuation there. Hey, Selmers! Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired, got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh, take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, draw across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night, night so dark. But stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. You notice anything, like, weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring, but he weren't kid no more. Maybe someone else, but from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is thinking, uh, forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna be cold soon. <laughs> soon, is all they can say. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Hmm. 
this star. Right, one, two, three! Because I always gotta look around. You never know, might might be around. Any new, new standy things? Nope. Still don't no idea if there's supernatural things or if it's all in her head. Will tunnelfish be always there? Will tunnelfish string canal a canal bear? I would miss the tunnelfish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. But you're good at it. Pertains to things. Anything down here? You never know. Doesn't look so. So, now up to see Bruce is gone and talk to Kate. My throat's doing the thing again. <laughs> I loathe it. Don't know why. Hey, there's a cat in there. Well, look to see if Bruce is gone. Then find Kate. Though I still don't know the mystery about the arm. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. <laughs> but that's the one that blows the fire, and it's super cool, man. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... what? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. Well, now that just sounds even more depressing. Guess she, she feels like she failed him somehow. No idea, no idea. Now to talk to Mom. Let's go around elsewhere. mellowing out almost see you can't resist coming here that's God calling you oh geez I'm betting not God's patient hun like nature that is such a creepy statement I find it comforting I've got this creeping dread that thing going on so just ignore me okay hun can I do anything not really love you what is it I don't know Purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo? <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great when the games, uh, with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Ka. Gotcha picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you too, sweetie. Ah, so sweet. looking around Bruce is gone the arm sort of has uh, 
like, origin now. Still don't know much about it. Still don't know why I had the diamond tattoo. That's got to play into something. <clears throat> Mike, you don't just give an arm a tattoo. It's identifying factor. We'll only go into the building this time to see if the door is open or anything. Shut up, dog. Uh, what's up, dog? But I don't want things to be serious. Well, at the same time, I do, because character development! But at the same time, I think I'm missing things. I don't want to miss things. It's bad. Violin man's gone. Probably should have talked to him yesterday. But, but I hear the violin. Maybe he's the fiddler on the roof? You okay? Yeah. I'm like, only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. I feel like that won't fix this one. One time I got pneumonia, and I had to go to school anyway. Isn't that contagious or something? I don't know. <laughs> May? You okay? Mm -mm -mm. May? Uh, sorry, spaced out there for a sec. You should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Alright, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably? Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Way to make it ominous, May. Whoa! Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out as pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about this whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Silence. Oh. You never know. Sometimes it's silence because the characters are waiting. Sometimes it's the characters just done talking. You can never tell. Everything feels so... So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah. Wow. Be able to let you have the car two nights in a row? Yeah. Even after the flat tire? Well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And I replaced the tire. Oh, yeah. So, you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy. A ghost. Right. Why does this- why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello, and me saying I've- Hey, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. No, I'm gonna be sick. Sorry. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. The park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. 
My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. <laughs> Posted, do not feed, or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. There are some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit up my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. First time hanging out with Fangus alone. Sudden Hill. Big brother to Silent Hill. Or like, is there just a mountain here? Like a small mountain. What's this? Puff, puff. You alright? Yeah. I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Didn't you run cross country back in junior high? Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. <laughs> kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, a furnace for what? Limestone. You like to do something with it in there, and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this is all underwater or something at one point. Wow. I know, right? Like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy. And awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Just nice little walk. Hope it doesn't go bad. Another kiln. Oh. Oh. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. Oh. So if this place is underwater, why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? Where'd the water go? I don't know. To the ocean, I guess. And like the earth is always shifting, so the mountains get all pushed up. Where it used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. To find about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Another kiln, probably another stopping point. <sighs> are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang on for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff by, about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. My bad. Dinosaurs are, like, the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things are so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Wow. Wow? My old scout camp. Used to come up here with my troop. Like a decade ago. You're the ancient sea monster now. Looks like it. With a bunch of, uh, little woods. Wow, looks like some of the whirly note things came back. The what? Uh, we made these little windmill things. And each put an enormous note in them attached to this little spring-controlled helicopter. And the idea was that when the wind would pick up, the windmill would uh, wind up the helicopter and the note would fly away. 
Looks like some of them blew back. That's an amazing coincidence. Oh no, that was the idea. Each year we'd read notes from the year before. I'm gonna see if I can find any more. I'm gonna hike up here in, in a while. Ah, so this is where these come in. Got one. Got one. There should be four? Four or so? So I knew there was a reason for those little windmills. But I didn't get to the last one because it was such a hard challenge. I think you got them all. The one I can spot, at least. And I got the high vantage point. Let's read them. Let's read them. Wait, should we, though? We gotta leave them for the scouts. Oh, it's fine. Any ones of... Any ones up here wouldn't last the winter anyway. Okay, 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 let's read one. Okay, here's one. Hi, I'm not supposed to write my name, and that's fine, because I am a scout, and that is the only name I need. Wow, that's intense. It goes on. The scouts gave me more than a name. They gave me badges to show my worth. Jeez. I would kill for the scouts. That's it. Were you all like this? Kinda, sometimes. No, maybe. Okay, let's read this here. Read it! Haha, <laughs> oh dear. What? I am super, super gay. <laughs> nice. Angus, do you write this one? Jeez, I could have. I think my note was about being strong and good. And gay as hell, apparently. I think my total gayness came through to the discerning reader. Alright, this one got kind of torn up. Maybe a bird got it. Read the bird note. I'm extremely unhappy, and you're the only person who knows. Oh. Okay. That's depressing. Hmm. What? Not much changes. Could have just as easily been our notes from ten years ago. Yeah. There's like a timelessness about people. Some things just don't stop being what we are. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Who's getting dark? Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed that, what, we passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird, it used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Racks. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Where it was, like, the Miners vs. National Guard. Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these are some of the bad guys. And some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graves up here. From like, colonial times. Guess that's where- Guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones! You see? Nothing left to be scary. Unless the things come back as ghosts. Then you've got a lot to be scared about. Wow, we're really high up and really far out. I can't see the town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah, back at school I couldn't see as many stars. It always made me so sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think the one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. I remember that time we were all... all at the longest night bonfire, and we spotted the constellations together, and you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. It was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay, then. <laughs> They're actually inter- They're, That's the supplemental material from before as well. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or we'll dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. 
That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. I do not remember any of them. And there must be up. Kind of clunky compared to the previous, uh, the longest night one. Ah, the fire pope. It's a pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Robello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Do you not know your saints at all? Nah, none of my family were into it. My saints were all like, uh, astronauts and authors. That sounds really funny. Yeah. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. This is nice. Figure not. The thief. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him, and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah! My granddad used to tell me he had Dina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things, was good at getting through the forest. Was pretty good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, when he stole a diamond from a king, he got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. I think this is the big one. The big one that I had a hard time actually connecting. Oh. Oh no, this must be the bell. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is the eye. Looking at you. Okay, that's a... Uh... I know this one is a little from prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound, basically, usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not gonna get rung to death by a bell. No, that's the bell that, when it rings... The world will fall off the back of the giant space whale. Space whale! It's a whale! And it's got, like, the world on its back. Wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. This is legitimately setting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, he needs to be carrying something. They didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. <laughs> We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them, and people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either, and like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. My dad used to hit me a lot. My mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> she, like, shoved me into the pantry and slammed the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That 
It's awful. She locked me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd like to try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can have some shit up. Well, my mom's kind of old now. I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left, like, ten years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he's alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like you. Anyway, to you, your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or no. I don't know. Save me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can ma like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghost or god. So like, I feel like I'd been through that. It'd be I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in, in anything at all? Well, so, like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I uh, believe that the stars exist, and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through space between things. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So, I believe the universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but, like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later... Greg did. It's like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But well, this whale is pretty cool. Yeah, you're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out of here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do you... F what do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it but being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god. Oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice hike. Nice night. He's... not... Answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In, out, all right. <laughs> run past the person. And they don't care. That's weird. Ghosty gonna follow? Oh, Ghosty gonna run. Because the problem is, I don't know who it could be. The only thing that I can... Maybe the gender? You okay, big guy? Yeah. I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or... It was some weirdo... Who lives out here? Like, they probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up... Ugh. That was too far from there. Wasn't too far. Why does Nob... Whoa. What? 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 
scream. May? Uh, uh, What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Uh, my head. Jeez. Uh, well, let's get you home. No. Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. Oh, this is weird. This is sudden. This is weird. <laughs> Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? Hmm. There's a ghost following me. I have no idea. There's a ghost in my head. What do I answer? Because both Bia and Angus have seen him. That much is true. So he's not in our head. But at the same time, we've had adverse reactions and dreams. But the dream started before the ghost. But it sounds like such a good line. There's a ghost in my head. I'm going to go with that one. Like, the night after I saw the kidnapping, or I think it was a kidnapping, I had this dream I barely remember, except for this sound. This horrible sound. And this feeling. And I keep hearing it whenever the ghost gets nearby. It's like someone rips open a hole in my brain. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know what to, that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines. And you saw something that freaked you out. And makes you stress out. I bet I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw, and if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you, what do you all care? If you don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Ah, uh, you guys... It's not even a ghost hunting season. <laughs> yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering up there, around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right! Let's hunt some ghosts! And now, ladies and gentlemen, we enter the night in the woods. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. All right. I gotta work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. <laughs> Angus <laughs> is shy. Psychic. <laughs> I bet his hat blocks it. <laughs> that was nice talking to Angus. And now... How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Ah, nah. People are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, Bia? Nothing. Nothing? What did you see with your alligator eyes? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Hmm. Whoever this ghost is, don't hurt my friends. I like them. They are nice. Minecart. Minecarts and destructed stuff. Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? <sighs> What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Dude! Hey, May! I'm fine. 
We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo. Fun. Eek. I think we're getting to the end of it all. Because, I mean, this is the titular night in the woods. Definitely going to go back and play through because I love this. What the? Huh? Oh, my God. No, no. Ah, oh, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, 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 guys. Oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw-up. Ugh, oh, he's like stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't uh, called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking right out. Ah, hell. D -d Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. All right, Dave. You hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know, we got no choice. And I'd appro appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Ooh. Hold still, this will get easier if... Ah, ha, ha, ow, ow. All right, he's free. Lerv. Ah! Lerv, ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself into more anguish and... Ah! Ah, oh, hell, let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lerv. Oh, God, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit. May? May Borowski? Run! You gotta jump over things. Hey! Who the hell are these people? What is this called? Is this the Tooth Cult? I do not want to be a part of the Tooth Cult. Tooth Cult is bad. 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 Except they take more than your teeth. Why aren't they jumping over this stuff? Shit, 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 shit. Run, 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 run. <gasps> Ain't gonna get me, bitches. Unless that was a gun. <sighs> oh, God, okay. Things have gotten serious.